So this is the 62 with the new brakes. And as you can see, let's see. This is the rim. Come on, light. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Okay, this is daylight. So this part here, I can't get my finger there. That part there actually protrudes out more than this flat surface here. Like welded right here or however they do it. It's kind of like this is three pieces. I guess two pieces for the main part and then they just welded this in. So it's kind of peculiar, you know. I just used quarter inch ones for testing and these are cast iron, yeah, cast uh, aluminum. These are pretty bad. And this is what my friend made me. Because I don't just put these kind of rims. See how that nice that fits? Boom. I'm probably going to lube it up a little bit. That's, that's nice and firm on there. Like it's supposed to be. Hopefully it fits the wheel. I should probably check it. And that guy goes over there like that. And there should be just enough threads. And just to show you. Yeah, this guy coming right through here. That way you don't have all the load on the lug nuts. That's not right. But that's ultimately what you got to do if you get the kit. And Scarebird made this kit for me, so I just want to let that, you know, let everybody know that. And um, he actually lost the uh, the what do you call it? You know the. Uh, the specs, so I may have to mail him back the spindle and have him do it again, but I, I try to get pictures of the pieces that he gave me, the, the spacer on the inside. But it's very simple. This this piece is just one piece there, and the, um, the spacer, you know. That's it. Looks with this on, and when you put these wheels on, there's a, there's a part number for these acorn nuts that have a 13 16 um, head on it. So it's the bigger head with the half inch thread. A lot of the half inch thread are 19 millimeter or three quarter hex. This is 13 16 hex or 21 millimeter. And it is, you know, as the original ones are 7 eighths or 9 16 uh, studs. So they're pretty big, but th this, this is doable. I'm not really worried about that. Mind you, you're bolting it now onto aluminum, um, but it feels so much tighter. The, these uh, cast ones were pretty horrible because I can feel it like crunching and because there were two of them, because I, I bought these because I wasn't sure if I was going to get away with a quarter or not because I actually started chewing away at the uh, um, caliper and I was like, oops, that's a problem. It's, uh, I was taking off, taking off, taking off and I'm like, it's, it's not working. So, but as you can see, this. 12 millimeter um, it's, it's listed as 12 millimeter half inch but it works either way it's a nice solid piece from Summit including this this came right away I ordered something else first because I didn't order this at first I ordered everything else including a massive cylinder from them and uh, it said it all was in stock and then I'm looking up in the boxes and I'm like it's missing I'm missing a lot of stuff you know because I bought a bunch of AC lines for another car this box came with one AC line you know, I just had it just in case because I'm going to probably convert a car. This got drop shipped from the manufacturer, so I don't know if there's a summit and they bent it. Yeah, nice job. But, um, you know, they, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh my god, so much boxes and mess already as soon as I take out a car. Anyway, so, um, it said it was in stock, but it, it, did, it didn't come yet. It's supposed to come on Wednesday. I'm like, Wednesday? Everything in summit, usually, it's not even funny. And when I got a bunch of boxes, I thought it was right. I thought it was that was it. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's right. I don't remember where the master is. So now it's like, oh, I'm held back again. But it's all looking pretty good. I had a kit already for the uh, master. I was trying to play around with different bolts and everything. But I essentially went to um, uh, Ace Hardware and I got these um, Cletus pins. I don't know if I can... Let's see, turn this light on. There, that's ultimately fine, the one I put there. Uh, I just filled in the space and I used it. I, I didn't have the other style, 
But if you remember, the other power booster had a big head on it to operate the um, the uh, brake light switch. So there's the see, I got I got uh, three washers in there with a lock washer in there, so it, it holds it. Put, hooked it, to, you know, it really can't go any further. That's just the play in the in the cleavers pin. Um, you know, I suppose I can adjust that out. You know, if I really wanted to, then there's this initial play in the booster itself, unless it is coming out. Sometimes you can't tell, you know, where on it. But that's basically it. It's looking pretty good. And um, yeah, those washers that I put for this brake light switch, it should um, it should be right. So like basically, if I put this on and the brake lights are on, I got a problem. So. Not necessarily a problem, but Jesus, it's so sunny out here. It's hard. To, I can't even see my phone. Yeah, it's definitely not on. So if I, uh, I, <laughs> I use this to bleed brakes, believe it or not, a piece of wood. So if I just touch this uh, brake pedal a little, not, not always easy when you're looking for a spot to. I just touched it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's on. You can see the light inside the thing there is on. So, and now you can see that little bit of movement turns on the light. So, yeah, that's like a half inch. That, that's, that's what you want. You want to barely touch. You want to give everybody the indication because, you know, depending on how fast you're going, at the rate that you stop, you know, you, 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 somebody sees that light early, it's a good thing. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, and uh, I got most of this box in. Um, got to figure out something with this thing because all, all this shit is not really working. You see these buttons don't, don't push right and it, and it transcends to this, to this cable here. So I left the cable off. I'm not 100% sure. It was kind of like all over the place anyway. But these buttons all of a sudden got, got frozen up. So, I gotta play with that. Uh, I still didn't plug in the, the motor. Uh, let's see, hang on, let me just put the phone down for a second. So, exact same thing. So I was like, great, you know. And, um, I don't really remember where I put the, put the key down. There we go. Don't ask me why I keep it in stupid places. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I gotta clean up all this garbage because there's a lot of like open packages and stuff. Anywho. So now, let's see. Hopefully this works. So key's on. Can't, yeah. So I just don't know about if I can get it to work because of these things here. Yeah, oh wait, I have to put the ground on. You know, let me turn the. Unfortunately, the ground I gotta. I gotta find a place to put it. Uh, I don't know if I just fucking wedge it on this wiper motor, maybe. Let's see. Fan high. Is the key on? Yep, the key's on. See, these things aren't pushing, so it won't necessarily turn it on. So I gotta play with this more. I don't know if it's the gr if it's ground or not or what. Should be. I tested this on the bench and it works. So I have a feeling there's something going on here. The fuse might be blown as well because the fuse was. I think the fuse blew on me. Uh, the last time I got the old motor to actually work, it like went made all this noise. It was going blah 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 blah, blah and then it's psh, so I, I think I have the fuse out, but. I know it's going to work. I bench tested it already, so it's just a matter of that fuse, probably. So, sorry, I can't show you, but it blows like a son of a gun. Anyway, so this video is longer than I, I thought. i got to put this door panel back on. i got to take off that door panel to check the um, uh, the molding. Uh, the molding cop came off, and i got to play with the plastic things and, and put something else there. Um, it's kind of a combination of plastic and metal on these cars. And I kept running in half, it was half torn off already, so it kind of kinked it a little bit. 
but this this guy here is kind of stripped and you see this there's three of them here but I don't know where to get these but this guy is more conventional with this little wing here so I might just put I have one of these something similar I might just put over here in its place because I don't, I don't even know where to get it I'm not a body guy and unfortunately I get put up to these tasks <laughs> so well, I must have leaned on this guy Que pasa? What happened? Which one is the ground? The ground on the inside. Right? So that goes there. Yeah, I leaned on it. Oh, shit. I got a tiny. I had wired these up. Was they were Somebody put one horn in. And I was like, no, you need two horns. first side and I took off the um, the wheel again because I remember I wanted to do this I'm gonna put some white lube on the surface because you know I'm not an engineer and it's a nice tight fit but this is cast iron that's going to rust and this is basically you know Aluminum, I mean, there could be something going on there with the, uh, you know, corrosion factor. You know, I don't want to break these to have to take them off. So having the lube under them is a good thing, you know. i put a little thin coat, whatever's left over here, and I'll put it on the, uh, you know, the thing there. In fact, just putting like a little greasy, you know, coating or may prevent the rotor itself from rusting on the hub side, you know, because if it ever needs to be changed, you know, it's a stock rotor, you just take this off and put it on the other one. That it fits beautifully, I must say. I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy. Drum that's supposed to be swedged on here, and I know the, the tire fits very tight, and you can see where the where the tire is right here, and that has down the where the rust is there. That's got to be the drum. So you got to split, you know. It's probably like each one is an eighth of an inch, roughly. So if you take off the eighth, it, it, it's it, it's not even two inches at the top here. And of course, with a with this, eh, I guess the races are in the same place because both rotors have the same bearings. I mean, it's either two inches or two and an eighth inches, you know. So just because you have, you know, this rotor in it doesn't mean that you're going to be spaced out actually. So when I go like this, because this is where the thing is now sitting, yeah, it's 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 like an inch and three quarter. If you go right to the edge of this, all right. Yeah, I mean, so if anything, the wheels are out by a quarter inch. That's that's a very good uh, that's a very fine um, compromise as far as I'm concerned. So uh, it's. This is this is really this is really killer. I really like the way it came. Out. Very nice stuff. You know, I'm I'm glad to do it right as well because you don't want to really do this kind of conversion and just base your um, you know your, your your thing over just 
the lug pattern itself. Just because you get the right lug pattern doesn't mean that you're really on the right place when it comes to, you know, the, um, you know, the, 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 the wheel circle. Now, this is somebody else's car. Now, this is my car, and the same, I bought the same brake setup from this guy. Now, if you look, it's a lot closer, you know. Um, this is for the 40 Buick. I mean, in fact, you know, I can't, I can't actually tell. It might, it might actually be fine on this one because it was more of a known thing. I'm just having a problem seeing because my reading glasses. But um, yeah, if anything, it's supposed to be right up against the edge there, and that's like. It's not even a quarter of an inch. It might be an eighth because it ramps up. You know, that's doable. I can get the right rims and you really wouldn't notice the rim difference over here. You know, but, um, you know, ultimately, I think it'll be okay. God forbid if there's a problem, you know. Also, these lugs are fucking huge, I think. I think they're bigger. I could be wrong, though. They could be just... Uh, I wonder. I'd have to look it up. They might be just half inch as well. Um, they seem bigger than that other car, but because these nuts are smaller. But um, you know, ultimately, that's that's something I wouldn't mind making a, a thing for as well. You know, the thing is though, what came out perfect about this particular setup is because I, I made it so it fit tight against the the uh, the other spacer that actually spaces it out. You know, because. I did that because it makes it stay on there. Like, I don't want to just slip something on and then it flies off one day, you know? You don't want it to fly off while you're driving. So, yeah. <clears throat> that is pretty much perfect. So, very happy. Very, very happy. I can't believe how great this kind of came out. So, um, I'll make another video by the end of the week. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have parts, and it's just like I can buy it locally. I probably should have, but it's just like you know, you plan these things, and they don't always work out. You know, I really wanted to test drive this car today because I got to go to work tonight overnight, and then um, it may not be overnight though, uh, maybe just late. Um, and uh, you know, I'll get a little sleep. I need when I'm dead, working overnight again on Wednesday, and then during the day on Thursday, so I'm gonna probably kill myself. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But uh, this is as good as it's going to be. I'm very happy uh, otherwise. Thanks for watching. Sorry about, by the way, sorry about the video. Uh, the other video that's before this, the 10 minute part, that uh, my phone was all, you know, seizing up and freezing up and uh, the, the audio is all messed up. But I, I think you get the idea. You know, that's why there's no video, there's no audio for a while. It skipped a whole bunch of audio for some reason. Because uh, my phone is antiquated. One day I'm going to get a new phone. <laughs> Not today though. Alright. Thanks for watching. Got it to work now. Basically this, you know, the whole contraption was together. Somebody took it apart to change the bulb I heard and her son. And he didn't put this back in place right. So I think it was binding. It's really all it was. Um, this hole here. So it, she says, no, there's nothing, never been anything over this hole. And I'm like, ah, that's weird. So... And I'm thinking, okay, so he may have, the guy before you might have had the mirror changed. Because she wanted a remote mirror, because it's literally on the fender there. It's literally over there, you know. So, to, you know, it's hard to adjust on the fly, if, if anything. So I told her, I said, oh, he must have had a remote one. He just put a regular one because he couldn't find it. Now they make them. But, sure, shooting. Nope, there's no hole in here. So that's going to be fun. i got to drill a hole into a fender. I hate doing that. You have no, no idea. It's not my thing. Um, so, I'm not even sure if I have the right escutcheon in for that. I did buy something from another year because I couldn't find anything. And uh, I'm happy about this, although I may just like spray WD-40 in there. I think it'll actually help because like the off is a little tight, but it doesn't, it may not be meant to, to really go all the way in, you know? So, all the other ones go in further when you hit them, and then they come out. It's just that the off doesn't really go all the way, all the way in. So, these are other things i got to do to the car. How wonderful. <laughs> well, I knew it was going to get ugly. 
course, I didn't know how big of a hole I had to drill, and the hole was about as big as that, that gasket there, which reminds me, I've got to put that gasket back on. Um, but this is basically what I have to do. Uh, just big enough, and it does, it will fit right through there. And then this is where it goes. And then it comes out and goes up inside the dash here to this hole. Wish me luck. And there somehow. I'm gonna try these plastic things. This one may not be really that good for this, but. Uh. I was thinking the curved part might give me leverage. And I gotta have two hands. My god. Oh boy. <laughs> This car is something to handle. That was where I really had to put my leverage in there. And hopefully it fits through this area over here, which it does not. I probably have to force it through like I forced that through. <laughs> I get it through there and I go over here to this hole. I'm like, this thing doesn't even want to fit around this hinge. I'm like, this looks like it's going to get cut up. And then I try to put it in a hole and it don't fit. So I said, let me look somewhere else. And sure enough, there's a big ass hole up there that's more direct in line. Uh, still would have been just equally hard, so I put this uh, dipstick tool in there and wrap a wire. Well, I'm going to wrap this around it and pull it through. I may just put a wire first, get the wire through, and then hook it to there again. But, uh, lots of fun. Lots of fun. But it's doable. I got the feed wire coming down, I got it through here, and I start putting it through. What's hilarious is that I'm like, how come I can't get it through? And I realized that the screw, I just unscrewed it because the screw was coming through the fender and it was blocking it. There we go. Let me see if I can try to do this in real time. I don't really have it tied on the, on the, on the knob. You know what? I gotta do this from the knob of the thing and I hope I don't lose the wire. That's the main thing. See, I tied it around the body here, and it's just, it's not, it's not pulling straight into the hole. Let me redo it at once, because I don't think, uh, I need more than that, or in general, I just don't think it's going to benefit me as far as getting it to a hole. I don't do a lot of things in real time for my viewers. And I complain all the time, so you probably figure, and, and since I'm working on this car for like four months, on and off, of course, probably say, oh my god, I would never work on that car, look how long it takes a mechanic to do it. <laughs> when I'm working, and actually things go pretty well sometimes, I can do it pretty fast, but it's just not always easy. <sighs> I I got a hold of the knob. <sighs> Don't tell me it doesn't fit through this hole either. Oh, just, I mean, just barely fits. Now, my other problem is now I gotta put this rubber thing back through the hole, which was a problem, you know, but now I'm pushing as opposed to uh, pulling, so hopefully that'll work out, so. Oh, look at that. On that angle, it went right through. Pulling it out, it was a different story. See, now this thing is going to come out of this hole now, so then I yank it in the hole to make it line up in the, you know, it's, you know, make the little grind up, grommet line up. Uh, let me put this on. It's got to be close. Come on. Okay. Did I get it? No. <clears throat> Okay, that grommet looks like it's all the way through. Of course. Yeah. Looks like I can give a little push in. Yeah, it don't want to come out, so that's a good thing. And now we have this, which obviously fits in this hole and fits a lot more sensible. And then I got to see the uh, the mirror thing I got. 
I had a hard time believing they were going to change up the, um, you know, the thread on these things. Because I think I got one from a 64. And ultimately she wants it for function. It's nice if it looks nice. I mean, it kind of just sits here by itself. It's not really, you know, a whole whoop-de-doo kind of mirror. But it'd be nice if that hold. If it, without, without the scutchie on, it'll kind of suck. So I think I had it in a box. <laughs> Three, four months ago when I bought it, um, up here somewhere. So we shall see. I may have to end this video to find it. In my mess. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna opt for the uh, ending of the video and make a new video to find it. But I remember it being somewhere around here. I'll figure it out. Overall, the job went pretty well. Let me just show you something. I gotta put this guy back in. Other than making the hole, everything to do with the mirror was pretty straightforward. Mm. Only problem is, I found the escutcheon nut, and unfortunately, I think I got it for a 64. It's not the same, it's bigger, which really stinks. I mean, really. That's so unfair. And as far as this is concerned, how it goes in the hole. I don't know if, it, if the hole was made for both of them. Oh yeah. I wonder if we can make some kind of sleeve. Oh boy. Never ends. Never ends. That was a perfect nut for this, and I, I had the hard time. I paid a lot of money for this, too. It's like $50. Always oh, something. Well. Hang on, I can't. It would be hilarious if the mirror didn't work. So I tested it before. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was trying to move it and you gotta, it's really gotta be held tight. Uh, I really need two hands, but it, it moves pretty good. Get some cheap Chinese ones that don't really work right. No offense to Chinese, sorry. Your country makes shit. Um, when it comes to cars at least. But uh, hopefully I can find a nut now. It's been months later, you never know what gets put on eBay. So we'll see what happens.